there are a lot of places that you can go to download parts to use within your designs. One that I like is McMaster because they have a big catalog of pretty much almost anything you could need, um, as well as it's an easy way to search for products, inspect things in your, in your project design, and get parts for prototype purposes and things like that. So as for that, I've been using them for a long time um, on my, all of my projects. So once you get those parts, a lot of times you can use them as they come. So if you're getting a nut or a caster or something else like that, you can just use what you get. You don't have to modify it. Sometimes you need to, to make some changes though, whether it's a screw that you need a special length that's a little bit shorter or you need to cross drill a hole or something like that, but you can buy the, 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 the base part from McMaster and then edit it, or if it's a piece of raw stock that you need to change the length of and things like that. Usually it's easier to buy something that's longer, so if you need a screw or a piece of an extrusion or something, download the model that's longer and then cut it off just like you would in real life. It's easier to make a cut to make something shorter than it is to try and extrude it out and keep the properties of that that thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you if, like if we're doing an aluminum extrusion. Let me grab one of these. Yeah, I'll just do a single. Make it easier. this piece. Let's say I want a piece that's three feet long. I'm just going to grab this four foot one and since I'm using SOLIDWORKS I'll just download the SOLIDWORKS one and there we go. So now I can go to SOLIDWORKS. First of all if I'm working in a project I'd want to make sure I go to the downloads folder and move the files I've downloaded into that project folder for whatever I'm working on. That way they're there with the rest of my parts for that project. But I'm going to go ahead and go to open and here's that piece of railing grab that I'm also going to go open up this uh, this knob that I have here just so you can see another one so let's look at this one first so here's an adjustment knob let's say this is what it comes in but I only want the threads to be you know I want it to be half an inch shorter so easy way I can just extrude cut sketch on the top Grab a circle. Actually, so I want to come down there. Just grab that. Convert that. That's bigger than what the threads are. That's all I care about. I can just finish it, and now I can tell it to cut my 0.5. You know, cut it off 0.5, or I can tell it that I want my overall length to be, you know, three quarters. So I can say offset from surface from there, and now I can come up from the surface like 0.75. I've got a three-quarter inch thread there. And of course, I'd probably want to come back in and throw a chamfer on here. There we go. Now I've reduced that down. I've cut it, I've cut it, I've added chamfer, and I'm good to go. You notice that where I put the chamfer was on this little piece. So right after the thread comes around, and hits that top surface, that's where I add the chamfer. That's where you want to do it. Now let's look at this piece. I said I, I brought in a four foot piece. And I want to make it three feet, so easy way to do it. Extrude cut, grab that face. Now I can just you know pick the face, convert, and it'll grab the outer edges of it. That's all I care about, say okay. I can also just draw a rectangle or a square there, and now I can cut into it. And I'll just cut in my 12 inches. And there we go. Let's say I wanted to add some, so I want it to be four and a half feet instead. So I'm gonna come back to here. Actually, I'm gonna go back before I did that. So I'm going to come here, and I want to grab my converter entities first, 
and I want to pick on this. I want to tell it, select all inner loops. That's going to go through and grab all these inner shapes. I'm going to say OK. And it'll convert all those and grab those. And now I can grab that whole face, convert entities. And it's important we do it in this order, because if I do the whole face first, then when I try and pick on it, it's picking on that sketch, not into the individual thing. So do the, do the internal areas first, and then do the outer outline. And now I can go ahead and tell it that I'm done. And I want to extrude, you know, pick that face. See, it's not wanting to do it, so I'm going to grab that sketch there. Now I'll go to extrude. So it reuses that sketch, and I can tell it to be six more, and it adds it in. So you can see my overall is now 54 inches there. So a little trick there to get it to, to capture all those internal shapes, plus then, as a second step, grab the external. And by picking on the sketch itself, you tell that this is what I want to use to do this extrusion.